大家好，我是康云。Hello everyone, this is Kang Yun. Um, so I'd like I'd like to uh, do a follow up video on my uh, Demon Souls first impressions um, story that I that I uh, uploaded previously. Having completed the game. Um, I would like to give my f sort of, not quite a review, but my thoughts on the game, on the remake, more as a whole now that I've played through every level and killed all the bosses. Um, it's almost overwhelming in a way because there's so much to say. It, you can start with, you know, the PS5 itself and what it's like to play a PS5 game compared to a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 3 game. And I think there's a lot of debate and topics around that. But let me just say that I've never experienced or played a game that looked as incredible and felt as immersive as I have playing uh, this game. I haven't played uh, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales for the PS5, so I cannot comment there, but from what I've seen, I feel Demon's Souls is the best looking game on the PS5 right now, and I think is the strongest title and the biggest reason why somebody should get a PS5. Um, initially, when Demon Souls remake was first announced, like many people, I had my apprehensions, and I did mention this in my in my uh, first impressions video. And one of those apprehensions, or one of those things, one of the things I should say that I said was, this game will not give players the same experience as playing the original game. It might look better, but it's going to lack the feeling and the personality of the original game. And playing the original game, you can't have that experience now because that is the time that's, you know, lost to the past. The servers are down. That was 11 years ago when it came out. Granted, I, pay, I played the game a few years into its life, and it was there was already a hardened uh, group of community that had formed around it that I sort of met and started playing with. And that playing the remake would not give players that same experience no matter what. That was sort of what I had said and what I thought. And so do I stand by that, having having now played through uh, the remake in, in, in its entirety? I mean, saying I've played through it in its entirety, I just mean that I've played through all the levels. There's so much more to do in this game still. But... I would say that I will eat my words, I'll take that back, because what they have done in the Demon Souls remake, I think is just incredible. I think they stayed true to the original game, and they, they made the right choice in doing so. It's, it's so... It's so strange to say that playing through this felt like I was, you know, playing through it just like before. I played through it, I guess I should say, talk about my build here. Um, I've since leveled up, I'm on New Game Plus, but I played through the entirety of New Game on 
a level six priest. I did not level up. I did not change my starting gear. What you're seeing here um, is the saints robes. I was I used. I started with the chain mail. And that's the only armor set I wore. I used a mace, which I made blessed. I upgraded my heater shield to plus ten, um, uh, and I had a talisman of God. Um, I did allow myself to use rings. But other than that, that was all I used, and I played through the entire game, beating every boss using just my mace and uh, the benefit of some miracles. And I think my playtime upon finishing, I'm at 54 hours now, I ended around 45 hours. A lot of that time was spent doing co-op and then farming and just messing around. The reason for staying a low level was like I said, I wanted to see, because this is the game that I've played so much more than any of the others, I wanted to see if I could play it in the same way that I had played it before and yes, I was able to play it just as I had in the past and everything down to the uh, attack ratings, the scaling, the numbers, the animations, the AI. All of that is as you remembered it if you played the original. So, if you ask me if I've never played Demon Souls before and I played Demon Souls on the PS5, will you get the same experience as you would on the original Demon Souls for the PS3. In my opinion, I now think yes. This game is just as worthy as the original. It's more than just an updated uh, graphics engine, updated animations, updated lighting, updated, you know, everything. They took a classic game, in my opinion, one of the best games of its time, a game that I think changed gaming history forever if it weren't for demon souls we wouldn't have the dark souls trilogy um and i'm so glad now that demon souls is now getting the just desserts it deserves it's getting its its due i should say it's it's now at, in the spotlight again for better or worse because you know of course it's going to be analyzed and criticized and everything, but people are going to get to experience Demon Souls as it was fresh again. If you're a veteran or if you're a new player, you're getting the true Demon Souls. The true Demon Souls starts here. <laughs> the, the message that, that is so uh, players are apt to write all over. Where does the true Demon Souls start? What is the true Demon Souls experience? I think if you play Demon Souls on the PS3, Demon Souls on the PS5, you're going to get a rewarding, enriching, full experience either way. When it came out, the online was obviously full and thriving. So it's so refreshing to see my favorite game having... Uh, online activity again getting to play with other players again because I've played the game many times long since this official servers went down mostly uh, by myself because the fan servers though they exist the amount of people who are playing the game is just so small it's it's uh, just it's just incredible to get to experience this game. They've added several new things, but I think everything that they've added or the little things that they have changed do not detract from the game at all. And in fact, I think it makes, it makes the game feel like, it feels like a next-gen game so one of the things that they added that I think is a quality of life improvement is the ability as you see here 
this this here says that I can send these items back to my storage. So if you're in a level and you're picking things up, because there's item burden, I can send this back to the storage without having to leave the level. So while item burden is still a thing, and I, I think that's a good change, or a good uh, thing that they didn't... I, they, were, they, were, they were right for not changing it. The mechanics of this game were unique to it and made it, made it uh, what it is. And though some people think those may be uh, not great or don't like them, I think keeping them, staying true to it was, was, was good. By keeping that and adding the option to send your things back, and also when you pick an item up in another world, and you can't pick it up because it's too heavy. The item doesn't disappear if you choose not to send anything back or drop anything. You won't lose any of it. You won't lose the item, assuming it's not an enemy drop, which in most cases, uh, if you're worried about what some, an enemy has dropped, you'll make sure that you can pick it up. Um, they've added armor. They've changed... They've changed animations. They've done a lot of things, but they were they're little things. And I just feel like I'm I'm just I don't know. I, I, I kept thinking to myself how amazing this was to be able to experience this game again as if it were for the first time. And as you probably see here, this is fractured mode. That's something they've changed. Everything is mirrored. I haven't really looked into uh, the secrets. I do know there's a secret door. I haven't found it yet, nor do I know how to open it. I'm sort of leaving that to discover on my own. Um, I found several of the new pieces of equipment that they've added. As far as the enemies, the AI, the only the only thing I seem to have found that was changed was the crystal lizards. For whatever reason, seemed easier for me to kill, though that might just be my own instincts knowing how to kill them. But I think something that they changed, a, a small quality of life. In the original Demon Souls, if you didn't kill a Crystal Lizard and it disappeared, you lost that Crystal Lizard's kill spawn, or uh, kill, kill count, it, its spawn count, it went down. And in this game, it seems that it went back to the Dark Souls, or it, it took the Dark Souls uh, approach of if the Lizard disappears, you still can kill it if you respawn it. You cannot quit and reload the game, unfortunately to get them to respawn but if you but warping is so quick in this game you can easily go to the go back and re reload the area and it'll it'll uh, be there again um, and the lizards do all have their one spawn count plus every boss you've killed in the area um, I've done all the world tendency events except for uh, getting pure white in stone fang I screwed that up unfortunately, so I still need to get the Dragon Bone Smasher. The faces, how when you talk to people, their voices uh, are... their faces, their mouths move. It's animated. It's, it's, it's incredible to see that. Your character's head moves when you point the camera up to the left or to the right, down, you know. It's these small details that give the game so much more character that it already had but and while some people might not necessarily like all the changes they made in terms of art direction and maybe the soundtrack I think overall while there's a few things that I don't like quite as much or I prefer the original they're all forgivable and I think it's all it's all makes everything this being able to play this game again in this way on a brand new console it's worth it for that 
the, they tr stayed true to the original so much to the point that these other changes and these discrepancies I have feel just very, very trite or minor in comparison. And it's it's crazy to think that this is a brand new console. It only came out of like what three weeks ago now. Three or four, yeah, I think three weeks ago. And so we've even yet to see what Demon Souls will become once uh, m more and more people start getting PS5s. Because I know the majority of my friends that play Souls, only a handful of them have gotten the PS5 and are playing Demon Souls right now. None, none of my friends that I know personally have gotten one. So I cannot wait to play this with my friends. And I can't I can't say I can't speak for everybody I can only speak for myself of course but what I said really is true I've you know it maybe not won't show up on a YouTube video or show up from watching it in a stream I feel like really to experience it as it is you have to just play it for yourself that's especially true now because of the DualSense controller. I, I could talk for a long time about that. The controller... I found it interesting actually watching Ruricon's stream. Uh, shout out to Ruricon. Uh, he's a streamer that I like to watch. I watched his... Uh, oh, I am currently watching his first playthrough of the game. And he repeatedly makes the comment that the DualSense doesn't really have much to add to this game which I wholeheartedly disagree. Um, coming from playing a game like Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3 or the original Demon Souls, you barely notice any sort of vibration, haptics, rumble in that game, in those games. It just seems to be when you get hit by an attack and maybe if there's like certain cutscenes, but that's about it. And for and another thing I should say is I usually just would turn the vibration features off because I never really felt like they added anything to the game. Not so with this game. I think there's so many different sensations and subtleties that that you get from playing on this controller. The sound is very much the sound effects are very much in sync with the controller. When I roll, I feel that in the controller. When I toggle on the d-pad my items I feel in the direction I'm pushing a slight uh, bump in the vibration so if I'm tapping down I feel towards the bottom of the controller every time I click same when I hit left I feel left when I hit right when I hit up it's towards the top you know that's just a very minor thing and what I feel like he said is you don't notice it what I think he means is or what I or why I think he said that is the the vibration seems so natural and part of the game that you don't even notice it at first because it comes across as just integral and if you're not paying attention you won't notice it but I think it it just so organically adds to the experience that I didn't quite notice it myself until after an hour or so of playing I realized like Wow, when I land an attack, if like that attack is a backstab or if it's, you know, a certain if it's a certain attack, the sound it makes and the impact it has will reflect in the controller. If I get hit by a fire attack, it feels different than if I get hit by a sword. If I stand in poison mist, uh, I can feel the slow throb of the controller that the mist collecting around my character is building up. And it is like a warning sign to get out of there. Or if I am poisoned, my character coughs and I feel that. And then the controller has this dull buzz that telling me that I'm 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 uh, poisoned. And you won't necessarily notice these things if you're just so immersed in playing. It just comes across as natural. Or if like the Tower Knight slams his shield down, and the controller just you feel that explosion of impact. And in the in the three D audio, it's it's incredible. And while this is just a minor thing, maybe by comparison, when you're comparing a game like Astro's Playroom, which 
let's be honest, that that game is it's a really good game, and, I, and it's a showcasing what the controller can do. By con by comparison, yes, it it feels you know much much less, but uh, this game, having played the original Demon Souls and going back to it since, the Dual Sense adds so much, in my opinion, as does the 3D audio. So combined with the lighting the haptics, I mean, the whole thing. The game looks next-gen, in my opinion. It it does not look like a PS4 game. I think it's a considerable jump. The amount of details... I'm playing on performance mode in 60 frames per second, but I've gone back and forth, and I think the game looks beautiful either way. I just prefer the higher frame rate. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't know. I can't... Like I said, I can't speak for other people, but for me, this game, I've never experienced or felt a game like this before. So maybe maybe other people who've played games on PC or who've played better looking PS4 games than I, it might not seem that big of a jump, but I can say from all of the games I've played and seen, it's just, it's just another thing, and, and I think... Rather than take anybody's advice or listen to what they have to say, you just got to get your hands on it and experience it for yourself, which I know for a lot of people, they can't do that right now, unfortunately. But when, when you finally do, when you finally are able to get, get, get that PS5 and play this game, you're in for a real treat. Especially If you're a fan of Demon's Souls or the, any of the Souls games, and if, or if you've never played this game before, I'm so happy to say that you're going to get an experience that's just as true to the original as it could as any game could be um i don't know i'm so glad they didn't do a remake or a remaster rather like they did with dark souls i didn't think that dark souls really needed a re a remaster it it seemed fine like they could have just ported it to the ps4 and not charged quite as much. If anything, I don't like that they changed a lot of the way that online functionalities work. This game has dedicated servers now. That's a really cool feature. Um, you can't, maybe you probably can't read that, but down at the bottom it tells me that I'm playing in uh, American, the, you know, the North America Eastern Ohio server. It chooses a server that's got the lowest latency to relative to where you are, and you can change it though. If like maybe some some weird time of day, if you want to play when maybe there's more people online in Europe or Asia, I've tested it out a little bit. I haven't quite noticed a difference. I do. I can say that the online. Um, I. I've been summoned quite a bit, and I've had quite a few uh, co-op sessions and a handful of invasions, but I haven't been... Well, granted, I'm staying relatively low level, and that's to help new players for in a lot of ways, right now anyways. I, I really want to test what levels I'll get, what sort of action during, in uh, what soul levels I'll get, what sort of action in which levels of the game um i haven't gotten summoned sometimes it can take a little while to get a summon depending on what time of day but i think the reasons for that is one it's still a new game and uh you know while there are a lot of people did get ps5s there's a lot of people who didn't so it's just going to keep growing two a lot of people are going to be playing in soul form because they don't want to screw up their world tendency and uh three uh, the level restrictions, I'm not sure of how they work, and maybe that some players are leveled past what I'm at. I don't know. I'm not sure all what's going on. I feel like maybe there are some some things to uh, work out in the uh, online connectivity. I've noticed a few things where sometimes when I get invaded, the player spawns in, but I don't see him, and suddenly he's killing me, and by the time I 
and able to see him, I'm already dead. Like, that was kind of frustrating. I think that has to do with maybe some latency or something. I'm not sure, but I hope that's something that, that can be tweaked or fixed in future patches. So, yeah. I, I feel like I've been sort of rambling now, but this is, this is just sort of an off-the-cuff discussion of more solidified thoughts having completed the game and I'm just looking forward to playing more of it and I can't wait for more of my friends to be able to get this and play this together with me it's just it's just a incredible incredible thing that that we can we can play this game again Um, so without, without letting myself go too far, I'll try to keep this relatively short. If you've made it this far and, and found this video interesting, please feel free to like or subscribe. And, uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload some more content of some co-op sessions, PvP fights, boss kills, and, and, and such. I have some ideas that I'd like to do. I know my mic audio is probably not very good. I don't really have any sort of professional setup at all. So I hope you can forgive me for that. But yeah, thank you for listening if you have. And leave any of your own comments about your thoughts if you have or have not played the game or any kind of questions you might have. This is a game I'm very familiar with, so I'm always willing to help answer questions to people who uh, are new wanting to learn so with that I'll I'll take my leave thank you everybody for watching wash a Kang Yoon I'm Kang Yoon Mombasa